selling marijuana in the tri-state. Only on Nine on Your Side, video of what one of the first dispensaries in our area will look like. Our security in these dispensaries, it's tighter than you'd see in a, in a, in a regular pharmacy. It's tighter than you'd see in a bank. And the one component of this new business that one owner says will surprise you. An edited account? Indiana's Attorney General fires back at a woman accusing him of sexual misconduct. See why he says he has proof of a coordinated story. Plus, improving emergency response. Nine is on your side. The actions you can take to help 911 dispatchers better serve you when seconds count. Nine on your side starts now. So what will Ohio's medical marijuana program look like? Only on Nine on Your Side, we are seeing inside the model for one of the first dispensaries to open in the tri-state later this year. Mm -hmm. It will be one of seven in our area. A total of 56 will actually pop up in Ohio. So we sent Evan Millward to Illinois to see the blueprint for what is coming to Columbia Township. I see a lot of similarities between Ohio and Illinois. Jeremy Unruh gave up a high profile Chicago law gig to get in on the ground floor of medical marijuana in 2014. His company is now coming to Ohio. Ohio is the 29th or 30th state in the United States to come on with a, a, a medical marijuana regulatory scheme. So it's no longer an early adopter. By the same token, they're they're in the they're in the infancy of rolling this program out. In fact, the state won't meet its own September 8th deadline for products on shelves. There is just one approved grower right now. It's completely separate from when you think of a dispensary when you look at like the western west coast model where you see like the big things or they're scooping out. If this is what you're expecting inside an Ohio dispensary, think again. Verilife dispensaries look more like offices. It's somewhere where we want you to be comfortable. Dan Militello runs all four in Illinois. I want it to be very welcoming. The public area up front has plush furniture and plenty of reading material. There are private rooms where patients will meet with employees. Think of this like a pharmacy on steroids. Cannabis is different. It's not a uh, fix all the same thing for every single patient. So you want that one on one kind of feedback. Everything from drops to chocolates to cans of cannabis are kept out of reach. Security is complex. This facility in Ohio and Cincinnati will have 35 cameras um, in it and we will have, you know, surveillance footage for, for months and months and months that we'll store there. Security at the dispensary is about more than just cameras. We're in the area open to the public, but even we are not allowed inside where the product is kept. The state mandates it. To get past these doors, you have to be a patient with a card and accompanied by a patient care rep. Our security in these dispensaries, it's tighter than you'd see in a, in a, in a regular pharmacy. It's tighter than you'd see in a bank. Um, but that's what, that's what the, the decision makers of the state of Ohio have decided they want these dispensaries to look like, and that's what we'll bring them. Okay, so enough about the regulators. Who are the people this place serves? The typical patient in Ohio isn't going to be a, uh, a, a millennial who wants to come in and, and suck on a vape pen all day. You're going to be surprised that Ohio will be surprised in that its patients are going to be the 55-year-old white woman with cancer or the 78-year-old African-American man with Parkinson's. Ohio is still licensing doctors and processors. This will be a slow start. These programs in the states, they're a little bit like a garden hose or a pump where you, you turn them on and they cough and sputter for a little bit before they kick in and, and start you know, putting out kind of a constant stream. Even getting the building ready takes longer. Cannabis is still federally illegal. You kind of have to put a, a factor on everything you do. Everything costs more, takes more time, and takes more effort. In Arlington Heights, Illinois. Oh, I know we can do it by the end of the year. I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side.